I just thought I was losing my mind from lunatics screaming in my face. Your mother's a I told you that in confidence, Gary. <laughs> we can make this what it is, guys. It's Wooblastmas HD, and today we are here to check out some Family Guy clips that you guys have sent me. We turned them into a compilation, and we're about to check these mugs out. Now, if you guys want to send me your own Family Guy clips, and I try not to laugh at them, and if I can actually not laugh, do you get ejected from the Discord? Fired forever. But if I do laugh at least three times, then you you off the hook. Let's do it. Right, my mode. You too, Peter. So, uh, what do you want to watch? Well, if you turn on channel 14, we can probably catch the end of Muslim Looney Tunes. As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. I love how all the servers look like celebrities from the 50s. Marilyn Monroe. No. Elvis. Mm. And look, there's James Dean after the accident. Let me tell you about tonight's specials. Oh, look, Cleveland finally made it. Oh, hey there, Griffins. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. This song's from the 1960s. It shouldn't be in this jukebox. Wait, wait, can I have that record? I love that song. I'll let you have sex with my daughter. I don't know. Let's see what your daughter looks like. She's uh, right there. Okay, I'll do her. But can you tell her to cry and beg me to stop? So Nixon won the ah! 1960 election and totally botched the Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, I had a girl do that to me on a date. She only told me until afterwards that it was a fetish she had. Of course, I didn't go through with it because, you know, when a chick is begging for me to stop, it is a turnoff. You know what I mean? Female acting like she's not with it, that's a turnoff. So I take her home, everything cool. And later on, she called me up and she's like, yo, like, when I begged you to stop, why did you stop? And I was like, <sighs> You was really stumped. I was sitting there on the phone like, mother, what? Why is it that when you begged for me to stop, I stopped? What are you? That's when I found out she had a fetish. I wish she would have just told me that. This is causing World War Three. Wow, so I guess Lee Harvey Oswald never shot Kennedy? Nope, he shot Mayor McCheese. Now, wait a second. You can't do that to him. A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane! <laughs> now look, I don't think- All cripples are insane! Euthanize this man! Euthanize? Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Holy crap! Dr. Hartman must have dropped his phone in Joe when he was looking at his spine! Oh, thank God. I've been hearing that ringing all week. I just thought I was losing my mind from lunatics screaming in my face. Your mother's a whore! I told you that in confidence, Gary. <laughs> we can make this work. Like couples who meet on Craigslist. You're, You're not, not what you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over, over with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um... Let's move in together. Say something! Excuse me, do you know how to get to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, ah! nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Yep, I had wow, to Stewie, me. we're gonna work perfectly together, like Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Watson, a clue. The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. Amazing, Holmes. How did you know that? Just from, like, books and stuff. Give me a Susie. Uncle Peter's gonna give you a raspberry. Peter, that's not where you do a raspberry. What the hell is a raspberry? I closed my eyes too early. I think it's best if you leave. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I'll hang out with my godson, Kevin. Get out! He was masturbating with a knife. <laughs> they veered off its flight plan and is headed for Las Vegas. The government, fearing the worst, is considering shooting it down. Now here's an over-the-top news graphic. Nightmare 
over Vegas. Hi, Jack Jackpot. Hey, sleepyhead. Stewie. How you feeling, pal? Uh, okay. Do you remember what happened? No. That's the right answer. Well, you have a lovely day, and we'll see you when you get home. What's I think up, we can get a kid? heart from this kid. Oh, nope, he's up. No, he was evil, but do we really have the right to take the life of another human being? Human yes. being? It's Hitler! Wow, the middle-class morality of Brian Griffin. Hitler head, yo! He cried like a bitch when I did it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's perfect! Yes, this will really tell people... <laughs> This is more frustrating than Charlton Heston's funeral. Uh, excuse me, is, is this his cold, dead hand? Uh, yes. <laughs> he, uh, he said I could take this. Hey, Peter, would you get off your phone? Sorry, young girls keep killing each other because they think I'm the Slender Man now. Like, are you... are you telling them to kill each other? It's just a goof. <laughs> it's Slender Man! Kill yourselves! Peter! Come on, it's just a goof! <laughs> Bull Tower, this is... I can't stand when people say horrible shit and then try to play it off as a joke. Worst comedians ever. Flight 364, we have a hijacking in progress. Our flight has been... Oh, damn it, they jammed the transmission. I'm gonna have to go to the backup communication system. Hello? Can you hear me? This is flight 364. We're being hijacked. I can hear you. Oh. PM, and you're still in your 545 tuxedo. Nigel, yesterday I saw you smile. Is that something I need to bring up with my father? I was just imagining my own death, sir. You're a good man, Nigel. May I pull on your nose hair? Of course, sir. <laughs> yeah, calm down. People make mistakes. Just look at the original design for the first hybrid car. Eric, we love the car. We only want to change one thing. Is it the rapist sign? Yes, it is the rapist sign. I quit. Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? Anyone? Accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps. Like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A Minor. Oh, hey, I'm God. Welcome to heaven. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Handicapped is still a thing up here. Oh, yeah, you're like this forever. Hey, how come everyone has different kinds of towels? Well, we don't provide towels. You have to bring your own. It's very important that you die holding towels. Have the priests not been passing this along? It's very important. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Oh. All right, Rupert. I left the fat man's entire porn collection on the curb for Goodwill to pick up. Please sing the national anthem of the United States. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming And I, I will always love you Close enough in my book. Put your head between these two restrained logs and win a free hat. Well, that's a no-brainer. Come on, you fat <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Who's laughing now? I got my hat. You've been playing with your friends long enough. Now it's time for you to come inside and do your homework. It's time for you to piss off, redhead. What? Hey, hey, Chris, don't talk to your mother that way. Oh, way to stand up for your woman there, fatty. Did you sit on something? Noon, I'm Tom Tucker.
Today we bring you a disturbing case of child pornography. Local teenage scumbag Chris Griffin, whose name will be omitted here, was caught sending quote-unquote graphic selfies of his hog, not sure where that quote is from, to another underage student. <laughs> Holy crap, Chris, what the hell? I put you in charge of the food. The raccoons were here, see? Ooh, we're a bunch of sneaky little animals. We're gonna wreck this food and eat it because we're naughty. And then there's a guy. Let's get him in trouble with his dad. Ha ha ha. I hear the ticking of the clock. I'm lying here. The room's pitch dark. I wonder where you are tonight. No answer on the telephone. Well, on TV, if somebody gets hit on the head, you hit them a second time, and that gets them back to normal. No, no, Chris, this is very serious. You see, what a concussion is, is the impact of brain matter on the inside of the skull. That's why you sometimes hear this nonsense about, oh, let's just give them better helmets. But you can't make a helmet for the inside. Of Chris, are you crazy? Shh. Now, nobody will have any reason to be afraid of me or think I'm a pervert. And everybody can just treat me like normal again. Oh, my God, I can't believe my son's some kind of weirdo. Well, 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 if it isn't Booger Breath and the Mushroom Tip. W uh, which one of us is which? Evil, evil monkey! Evil, evil monkey! I want you to destroy me. Okay. Oh. This whole trip has been a complete waste of time! Screw you, Stewie, you're a jerk! And I'm gonna win that bowling tournament, with or without you! <laughs> what is he... what? He doesn't even know what we're preparing him for! I'm so sorry to tell you this, but your grandfather died. <laughs> He helped me get an A in algebra. How did the monkey know you needed help with algebra? Because he asked. That's right, Dad. You never ask. And even if you did, you never listen. And now you're getting mad at the monkey because he actually cares? Screw you! You are the worst dad in the world and I hate you! Years ago, when Chris was in preschool... <laughs> Peter, poor Chris didn't get a single Valentine today from any of his classmates. What? Why not? Apparently, he's not well liked. Some of the kids think he's weird because he takes his shirt off to pee. Yeah, I taught him that. That's also called peeing. Pee? Pee now? No, no, Chris. <laughs> Why no Valentines? Hey, hey, hey! Stop crying, Chris. You, you, you're gonna. You, you, you're gonna get tons of valentines. I am? From who? Um, from... Your parents? Arthur Valentine. <laughs> really? Find the cockpit, open the glue, take a sniff. <sighs> and this will be my life now. Mom, you remember that goldfish we flushed down the toilet? He wasn't dead. <laughs> Yo, did y'all check me when that hottie was all up in my Kool-Aid? Yeah, I was looking to break off a little something-something, but my crew gave me the 411 on that skank, and she's all about the blank blank. Peter, what's wrong? He's speaking in tongues, Lois. Our son is possessed. Meg, start at Psalm 41, and don't stop reading till I tell you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. And the worst part about it is I can't have sex. God, I wish there was a way I could just do it myself. You know, just, just to be done and napping within four minutes. Let me show you something. That was amazing. And Linda Carter wasn't actually here? No, that was just in your mind. Incredible. So, so you can do that, like, what, once a year or something? No, you can do it basically whenever you're not doing something else. Cool. Hey, next time I want to try it with my hand. Quick, shoot him, Chris! What are you waiting for? I... I... How do I know which one to shoot? What? How do I know which one is the real dad? I... We, we never switch... Wait, wait, we don't even look the same! All right, when's my birthday? Ah, oh, crap. February 8th. Ah! Dad! Yeah, that's more like it. You idiot! Well, learn my birthday, Well, it's a long shot, but so was the shouting Arab gram business. 
from Joan and Keith. We'll expose Loretta for who she is, just like Cyrano was exposed for being anti-Semitic. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Boy, am I going to enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm going to go for it. Son of a bitch. Looks like I'm going to have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys, how are ya? We have got to get that record and destroy it. Just like that fat person surgery destroyed Star Jones's arms. I look so good, I lost all this weight. Taxi! Coming to show the people how good I look. Well, it sure is odd. A record doesn't just get up and walk away. Except for my old Alan Sherman record. If you ain't gonna play me, don't complain when I try to split. There's a lot of Jews out there still get a laugh off a of hello mother, hello fada. Ooh, such heat this morning. I don't need this jacket. What? You mean, reveal myself? Absolutely. This world needs you, Jesus. It needs you like a guy who can't get it up needs a distraction. Mm. I am so ready to have sex with you. Oh, hey, is that my phone? I don't hear anything. Is that John Aston? I don't see anyone out there. Oh. Well, now there's so much going on. Oh, we can't just leave Mort back in time. That'd be more irresponsible than silent movie porn. Your hands were... Ah! You imagine looking a bitch in the face? Baby girl, I just want to let you know that you are a very handsome woman, all right? Don't, don't ever let anybody tell you that you're not one of the most handsome women walking around here, baby. You really are. That's how you get yourself shot. All good and shot. Yes, and I'm quite baldy. I hope. Indeed, I did. You damn fool! You're more useless than Aquaman! Help! Somebody help! Rape! Scream all you want. Nobody can hear you out here. I can. Aquaman, help! Hey! Hey! Hey, let her go! Or what? Or... Or... I don't know, man, but you're... You're lucky you're not doing that over here, in the ocean, or else, or, or I would stop you. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, you're going to be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Oh, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help, he's hurting me! Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. Yeah, that's a great idea, Mom. Hey, maybe we can go to the island from Lost. No, I don't want to listen to Matthew Fox's heavy breathing. Kate, you don't get it. We are the island. Motherfucker, what? Hand me that paper bag. Jack, that's got my poop in it. I know. I know. It's got a hint of coconut in it. And something else. But that's part of the mystery. Lois? Where the devil is everyone? This place is more deserted than James Gandolfini's workout room. Ah! Oh, God, it's Cleveland and Bob Hope. Better get them out of here. Perhaps I'll shackle them in the basement with a 24-hour broadcast of the DirecTV Help Channel. What the hell? Where are we? Getting to know your remote is easier than you might think. These buttons at the top control volume, channel, and the power on your receiver. To see what else is playing, just press guide, and then scroll through the on-screen menu by pushing the arrow button. Now that we've learned the basics... This may be kind of messed up, but am I the only one getting a boner right now? Is there anything that doesn't give you a boner, Glenn? People who use the word rubbish when they mean garbage. Really? Yep, not even a wiggle down there. Your shows will appear on my playlist. Peter, it's been eight hours and I haven't heard back from Cleveland or Quagmire. I even tried Joe. This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I am useless. Shut up! Okay. Come on, let's head home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? 
Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. Brian's getting old. He's not the dog he used to be, and I'll have to get used to it. Just like I got used to my acrylic nails. I really know women that wear their nails that long. Real sin. Scanyan wine stock and race man. Hey, LaRonda. Now, I got four people on hold, but I can't talk. Hey, you're still my buddy. New Brian is just a new friend for the family. Trust me, you guys are going to get along better than Abraham Lincoln and his neighbor. Hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. So I'm through listening to you. Fine. Think what you want, aging supermodel Carol Alt. Carol, come in here. They're saying your name on the family man. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? I forget. Jeez, it's like he thinks I'm going to shoot him. He's acting all crazy like Quagmire when he drunk dials me. Hello? Hey, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Quagmire, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I was just out with Joe. What, what, are you, what are you doing? I just told you. Oh, that's right. I just, I, I just asked that. I, I forgot. Hey, hey, this song ma made me think of you. So li wait, listen to this song. Isn't that awesome? You said you weren't gonna call him. It's not him, you big bully. Joe, Joe told me not to call you. So, so what? So what are you doing? <sighs> Well, I can't say I blame you. I hate him as much as you do, Brian. He's a bad fit, like a crocodile at an alligator rally. Yeah! Lurking in the water with our eyes poking out! Yeah! yeah! Sneaking up on a crane or an egret and snapping our jaws on it! Yeah! And sometimes walking out onto a dry plain or dusty field because it's nice to get out of the swamp now and then! Yeah! yeah! Uh, wait, uh, what? 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 Huh? Dry plain? Dusty field? Nice to get out of the swamp? What a crock. And that's where we get the term. Now, come on. Let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No. You I, think I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, I, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in front I don't of me. <laughs> I'm sure there's two sides to this. Growing toward the sun. Anyway, I'm Joe, and I don't do a lot of these. Climb up here and hang yourself. Boy, wouldn't you like to know what those little guys are saying? No. Welcome to beautiful Burbank, California, home of more year-round Halloween stores than any other city in the world. Do you like Jack in the Box? Then you're in luck. We've got six of them. If you've ever wanted to visit a place where you can hear the freeway from literally every spot in town, then Burbank is for you. Want to do drugs in an empty swimming pool with a couch in it? Want to see what you imagine an affluent neighborhood in Honduras looks like? You can do all of that and so much more yes. in Burbank. Okay. Welcome to the roast portion of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, my son, Chris. Born on the highway, because that is where most accidents happen. Hey, da! But we're here to talk about Brian getting another year older. You know, I hear he can't even bury a bone these days without Viagra. And they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But I heard Brian just learned how to roll over and beg for an erection. Peter, I'm fine. Are you sure this isn't about you not being able to perform on your anniversary? I told you that in confidence! And a one, two, three. Uh oh. My butt's stuck in the pants. Well, get it out. We've got a show to do. Good job. You just killed seven people. Innocent people. Happy Halloween, Meg. Wow, Mayor West, that's some costume. Well, thank you kindly. It a me, Borat. You know, from that picture, Borat. That's Mayor West? Really? You ever seen it? Yeah, that movie came out like 15 years ago. Well, I'd never heard of it, but it was just about the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Anyway, have a good evening. My wife! 
Dr. Hartman, you said there was very little risk to LASIK, but now I am blind. How did this happen? Okay, look, this isn't my fault. It was take your cat to work day. <coughs> oh! Oh! Hey, skinny legs, here I come. Good morning. Are you ready to sweat? I woke up sweating. Okay, let's climb this hill. I want to impress you, but also see if I can peek down your sports bra. <laughs> Ow! 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 My balls! Oh, the other ones. Ow! 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 Did you hear that? I think Peter hurt his balls. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Must have been at a frequency only dogs can hear. And you know what's right around the corner? The strip club where they spit in your face? No, the dog park. The strip club where they spit in your face? Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta write that down somewhere. Yeah, how do you like how this sounds, huh? Try cleaning up this mess while you're burning hell. Peter, you ready to go? Almost. But oh, what do you mean you don't like that? Just try it, maybe you will. I'm stuck up here. Better use my emergency flare. We've got a flare. I'm still stuck, but now I have confidence. Men, tonight you will have one last night of peace. I won't lie to you. A hotel guest has no regard for your life. What, are they about to get married? <laughs> one last night of peace. That means some of you will not be coming back. Those who do will never be one color again. Now, here are your assignments. Anderson, your late night vomit. Russell, you'll be in the ladies' room. Ooh. All right, knock it off. At ease. Edwards, you're going to be folded into a monkey at the foot of the bed and then on. Look at Edwards. He's into it. Ooh. At ease. Oh, also, you can have my penis enlarging machine. It's in my closet. Ah, you want it because you need Ah, did you look? Will you, will you text me if you looked? Like the fat man when he plays Clue. Okay, the murderer was don't care with a this game sucks in the I regret having children. Clue, you got someone pregnant nine years ago, so now you have to play this. <laughs> You can do it, Stewie, for sure. Free your foot, and together we will bump wieners. But it's stuck, Norwegian mid-level model girlfriend. Oh, just untie your shoe is how. Oh, duh. That bitch got a penis? Stewie, when will you free me from this thought bubble hell? Not for a while. I may need you if I run for office. Happy Halloween, kid. Happy Halloween! Look, it's Matt Foley from Saturday Night Live. I don't know who that is. I just came from a meeting at work. Oh, good, Peter, you're home. You can help me pass out candy. Sorry, Lois, I have to go do a dangerous speedball and become the least surprising death in Hollywood history. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> you're not taking this from me, bitch. <laughs> Suck it, Vaughn! I hope that mascara burns your eyes out. How's that cheap wine headache? Ah, uh -huh. go roll and dirt, you pig. Your hair dye stinks. Tell, Tell your, your daughter to stop, stop watching me change. Peter, go cut her power. Hey, hey. Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, or trans women aren't really women. <laughs> ah! Wait, what? I mean, uh, the first two things. Uh, Okay, who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two. You're gonna hate me, but I really need to take this. Don't you dare! But it might be Bruce Lee finally calling to admit that I'm the best at Kung Fu! This is your one chance, Stewie. I will not call you a second time. Damn it! I'm sick of being one-upped by Doug. Hurts. Hurts worse than a trip to the barber shop. This is what babies think happens at haircuts! Peter, tell me it wasn't you. Honestly, Lois, I have no idea. My brain can't even think thoughts no more because of the internet. Oh, that's it. From now on, you are an outside, Peter. Go on, get outside. <clears throat> Go to your Peter house. Go to your Peter house.
Okay, that's one drywall bit, one masonry bit, one spur point bit, one tile bit, one drill with a hammer action setting, one wire detector, one stud finder, and one grease pencil. Sounds like someone's drilling a hole in the wall to watch girls shower. Oh, big time. Did you pull a permit? City Hall's next. Nice. nice. That's my new pitching machine, Lois. And look, it can turn our car into a silly tank. Watch me nail Cleveland. Whoa! I got one too, bitch. Peter, what are you doing? Cocaine? Gonna give up the 80s and find a whole different decade to be into? No, that's not what well, I... Well, I'm doing the 1920s. Not because of legal cocaine, but mostly because of legal cocaine. Time to design a very stupid flying contraption. Cocaine plane! <laughs> hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm gonna be kicking my dad's ass all day today. Ah! Only Caucasian people can get away with this shit, bro. Black people, man, we do this shit, we be in jail by tonight or shot. Ah, 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 what the hell? Stewie, ah, guys, not, not, stop! Ah, ah, now nah, get up! Now nah, get up! Ah, ah! Come on! Come on, Stewie! You're acting crazy out there, man. I remember, I remember, don't worry, worry, how could I ever forget? I thought he was singing Michael Jackson at first. The hurt doesn't show, but the pain still grows. No stranger to you and me. Sorry, Sierra Tango 817, all our runways are filled. But it looks empty from up here. We're almost out of fuel. No, no, no room at all. But lucky for you, there's a big new airport out in the middle of the ocean. Keep going, you can't miss it. Roger that. Oops. Well, look at it this way. I just got you on next year's Oscar telecast. You'll be right after Ron Howard! <laughs> just messing with you, Ron. Or maybe not! <laughs> no, seriously, I am. Or am I? <laughs> no. So long, puss. We'll miss you. It's gonna be quite a different place with him gone, that's for true. He takes the beam. The spectators hold their breath as Stewie Griffin is America's last hope to take home the gold. Oh, oh, did you see that, Mitch? I sure did, Kathy. That was impressive. Here comes the dismount. Never met her before! Who cared? When you dropped cake, your jacket! When you came through the door! No one glared! So my advice to the two of you would be... According to our new arrival, life is more than mere survival! I don't know, Lois. Going to Cleveland's house with someone else living there just seems weird. Like when a new pope moves into the Vatican. Hi, I don't know who to complain to about this, but I'm still getting XVIII's mail. Yeah, no. No, he's not here anymore. This is XXIV. Yeah, no, I don't need Newsweek. No, I don't need National Geographic. I, no, no, yeah, no, we'll, ha we'll hang on to boy's life. I was drinking water while I watched that just to test it out because the homie asked me to keep water in my mouth. That way, if I do laugh, it's going to be a disaster. Probably ain't a good idea, but I got you. Shit. Oh, I'm feeling nauseous. I think I got altitude sickness. <laughs> hey, Brian, you want a pukesicle? I would love a pukesicle. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. <laughs> All right, I got the guy. I got the guy. Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry cleaners. It's a dance club. It is. Well, that explains a lot. Oh, this is my jam! <clears throat> and it's it's just in that I don't want to give it to a friend stage, you know? Oh, God, you hear that? I sound like a Jewish c and say. The uncle says... <coughs> the grandpa says... What? The aunt says... Oh. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You guys are the best parents ever. Would you excuse me a moment? These are mine now. Hey! Oh, honey, when we accepted those mugs, we knew this could happen. 
I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of good friends. Yeah, and not fake friends, like guys whose wives are friends. <laughs> you have to get me that recipe. Oh my god, the cookbook? It's right in the kitchen. Sports? No. Movies? No. Hiking? No. Cars? No. Porn? porn? Yes! Gay porn? No. And just think, this is where Helen Kelly used to eat when she went here. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? <laughs> right after my favorite show. Coming up next, to catch a predator who's proud of being a predator. Good evening, sir. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline. Do you know the boy you were coming here to meet tonight is only 13 years old? No, I drove 900 miles for a 14-year-old. <laughs> She's right. I'm a horrible person. I'm only one step above those people who really like dive bars and really need you to know it. I love this place. I love dive bars. Dive bars are my favorite. They're so much better than regular bars because worse is better. I know, right? They're my favorite, too. I'm quirky like that. I've got quirky taste. I'm a quirky girl. It seems like we would be perfect for each other. But really, we're terrible for everyone. Well, that's going to be a challenge. But it can't be any harder than folding that thousand-mile-long sheet. All right, I got my corner. Everybody ready? Ready. Chris? Ready. Meg? Your father made this. That's so weird. Dad gets lost in the woods and he makes a doll? Eh, it's not that strange. It's kind of what Tom Hanks did in Castaway. I'm sorry, Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's only one way to settle this. Only the artist knows the true meaning of their art. Now, Miss O'Keefe, the flowers in your paintings, what do they represent? Oh, wow, that's a really good question. Yay, the clam is saved! Yeah, yeah. We, we pulled it off, guys! Oh, thank God. And all because I believed in myself, like Pop-Pop always said. Please give me rat poison. I want only to die. No, we did it, Pop-Pop. What's that, Dad? It's my new meth distribution system. I've trained this carrier pigeon to do all my deliveries for me. Fly away, Benjamin! Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Mm. Now, this is the money I owe Peter. I want you to take it back to him. Do you understand? Hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space alien. Ah! Peter, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Oh. oh, Lois. Thank God, it was just a dream. Hey, Lois, what's that fat man doing in our bed? Ah, damn it. I always wake up before I find out if they can understand the baby. This Nielsen box will keep track of everything you watch, which helps us generalize the viewing habits of millions of Americans. Is there any way you can describe that to me using colorful puppets of some sort? The Nielsen box will monitor your viewing habits. <laughs> I don't like the left puppet. His chin is scary. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks like it's closing in fast. We're all gonna die! All right, everyone get into a hilarious pose, so when they dig out our bodies, they'll have a good laugh. This guy's pretty funny. What? Yeah, what the hell? You should be out there arresting the real criminals. Like switchblade-wielding white guys from movies and TV who don't talk like people talk. Easy, mama. Hand over that purse and everything will be real cool, you dig? Now, what do you got going on, lady? I think I might hang out in the town square. I hear an oracle from Greece is sending a funny message, and I want to be there when it arrives. Penis. Ha. 
All right, but be patient, all right? I've got interviews and appearances all week. I mean, they're, they're squeezing every last drop they can out of me like a bottle of ketchup. Listen, we've been at this for 15 minutes. I don't think anything's coming out. Uh, I'm fine. I can keep going. I'm just really tired. What if I stick my finger in your hole? Yeah, that only works when I'm already close. <laughs> We now return to the dyslexic baseball wrap-up. And the Unark Nankies have eaten the Baltimore Borials knife to foo here at Yamden Cards. The Borials now lace a fong toad rip where they'll face the Sed Rocks, the Rebel Days, and the Jubilees. Thank you for turning me on to something so amazing. Hey, I'm just glad you enjoyed it. And I'm sure Buzz Lightyear would have enjoyed it if you had bothered to show up. Hey, how would you like to go to my apartment and beyond? Meg, have you seen Dad? Yeah, he's at the dentist. He's trying to get sick. Okay, go ahead and spit. It's okay, go ahead. Peter, why do you look so nervous? Yeah, I promised a kid in the hospital I'd hit a home run for him. Sorry, I struck out looking. Wait, you're not the kid I promised. No, he died last night. Oh, phew. Right, just what I need on my conscience. Another failed business. Hi, I'd like to rent the proposal. Hang on, let me check the return slot. I'm sorry, it hasn't been returned yet. I have a poster from the proposal you can look at. You'll get most of the story. Huh, they seem pretty mismatched. There you go. What are you watching? Meet the press. It's really weird. In reverse time, the Republicans make outrageous statements, and then the host asks an unrelated question. Global warming is a myth! God created everything and the world is getting colder! What is your tax plan? And now, our feature presentation, Adrian Brody doing sit-ups in 3D. One. Ah! Two. Ah! This one's called Camp Sit and Stay. These camps don't sound fun at all. Well, Chris, camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Don't suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. That's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. Black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. All right, Charmies. I'll do it. If that's what it takes, I'll have sex with another man. Mm -hmm. Teachers, every time a bell rings, mm. some gay guy's gonna have sex with another gay guy. Mm. We're gonna pull you out of that school. I did it. He's gone. Just as easy as the creation of techno music. Wait a minute, what key are we in? No, 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 none of that. When we swapped blood, look at my lip! It's a disgusting herpes sore! And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make! Hola, Handy Manny's Repair Shop. You break it, we fix it! Manny, Manny, I'm gonna need you to take me off speakerphone for this. Good morning, boys. What's in store for today? Well, I thought we'd start with a vigorous power walk around the neighborhood. Whoa, 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 why? I was thinking we would just watch Dr. Oz and eat cold cuts off our stomach. Those people ain't taking good care of themselves. Are you sure? Yes, we're done! I just hope we can handle it better than Blue and Yellow did when they split up. You were supposed to have the kids here by 5. We have plans. It's 5.15. Stop busting my hump, Alicia. Okay, you know what? Let's not, let's not do this in front of the kids. God, you're right. Whatever happened to us? Hey, baby, you ready for dinner? What's up, Scott? We gonna get some barbecue. Hey, Megan. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. Peter, our family could use a trip like this. Plus, it might be good for you and me, too. It's the most romantic country in the whole world. And God knows we could use a little romance in our marriage. What are you talking about? Just the other night, we did that role-playing. Did you like that game of Mysterious Intruder, Lois? I told you, I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Let's do it again. 
Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, do you mind if I hang out here a while? I accidentally made eye contact with a transvestite at a bar, and he followed me home. You knew what you were staring at! Get out of here, you mess! You were far away! I didn't know what you were! You know you want me! Shut up! Now go home! Nobody saw me come here! I said shut up! Sneak around back. How come every time I'm feeling happy, somebody's gotta come along and ruin it? Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch! Folgers, drink us when you've been tricked into it. Stewie, everyone is gonna die at some point. Everyone. So, like, even me? Yes, even you. You are going to die someday, Stewie. Wow, I guess you learn something new every day. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. I used to be a celebrity baby photographer. Okay, Apple, Apple, smile for Peter. Smile for, no, no, okay, okay, look over there. Who's that, who's that? Who loves you over there? That's right. Can you smile for nanny number two? <laughs> That's it, there you go. And your mommy said that she'll be able to Skype at 8.30 if drinks don't turn into dinner. Oh my God, poor Chris. He's a social outcast like Scarface. Okay, we have a deal. You bring the money, I get you the coke. You got it, Scarface. Oh my God, you can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to. Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Whoa, 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 we? So I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So what would you say some of your weaknesses are? That, that, that's probably one of them. <laughs> How do you live in a house with all this junk? Rather stay in a house with small kids. So you can sleep on the couch. Uh, please take the potty seat off the toilet. Don't try to pee through it. There's juice boxes in the fridge. And if you get hungry, there's plenty of goldfish in the couch. Um, feel free to watch TV with the sound off. And the kids will be down here first thing in the morning to antagonize the dogs. Oh, and everyone here has pink eye. You're all gonna ditch me when I need you most? Yeah, Meg, it's natural selection. This is how it works in the wild. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. We now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day, every day for the last three years. Oh my God, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. Peter, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Look at these big ones, ah! Huh? Is this calculus? I don't know. Why are you doing laundry in the dishwasher? Oh, I can't use the washing machine. It's really been acting up lately. What the hell? What's going on down here? This is washing machine stuff. Go back upstairs, suck bag. The NFL experience. That sounds cool. Kid, you're the best. Sign with me and you're gonna make millions. Griffin, get out there! Ow! It's his knee. Doc! You'll never play football again. Too bad, kid. You was gonna buy me a house! Now I have headaches. I'm gonna save my brain for science. All right, Chris, here they come. Now remember what we practiced. Now what are you gonna call the one in the middle? Isosceles triangle. What? Come on, Chris. We worked on this all night. I know. I also had a geometry test. Well, how'd that go? I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. I'm your brother, Chris. We're a team and we've got to look out for each other. Like Owl and Costello.
I mean the fella's name on first base. Who? The fella playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. Who? I'm asking you who's on first. Who? That's what I'm asking you. Nothing will ever be funnier than misunderstandings. You know, I should go over there and fight for Pam. Absolutely you should. You should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Who cares? You're my dog. Everybody gets naked in front of their dog. Besides, you're always naked, except for when Lois dresses you up in that rain gear. Okay, everyone in the car. We're going to Martha's Vineyard. Do I have to wear this on the ferry? Yes, you do. What about Peter? Why, why doesn't he have to wear this crap? Peter's in his crate. I'm actually relieved. The ferry would be overstimulating. All right, I, I don't care if I die. I mean, maybe in my next life, I'll come back as an airbag or something. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Peter's got you. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Is my wife okay? No, the ski boots that was in the back flew up and chopped her head off. You can turn your blinker off now. It's very annoying. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Well, I guess this is it. I'm gonna die here. I'll never get to grow old and become an across-the-country grandparent. What is this? It's a Skype. A Snike? No, a Skype. Snipe? No, it's a Skype from your grandson. Steven? Yes, he's right there trying to say hi to you. What movie is this? It's not a movie, it's your grandson. My grandson is in the pictures? You did this yesterday! Don't holler at me, I don't understand anything. I'm very frightened. God, he's right. I'm a disgrace to my species. Like that gumball machine traffic cop. Oh my God. O'Connor's a disaster out there. It's not his fault. He was a great gumball machine. They just shouldn't have promoted him. Yeah, you know, I bet I can. I mean, I'm the guy who figured out how much eye contact a band should make during a guitar solo. Yeah, we're in sync and showing others how much we love the song. Okay, okay, it's time to turn away now, Vince. Come on, we got a lot of song left. Turn away, look at something else. I was about to say, at that point, you either got to fight him or bone him. I like to pick fight because it's the choice that doesn't get me bent over furniture. We're going to edit that out. I'm glad you didn't listen. Jeez, you are not going to let this go, are you? You're as stubborn as a four-hour erection. Well, she's long gone, so uh, you can go too. Oh, no. You got me for another three and a half hours, pal. Go ahead, seek medical attention. I'm not going anywhere. You can't stay. I'm chaperoning my daughter's Girl Scout dinner in 45 minutes. Well, tuck me into your waistband and try not to pee up your shirt. Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. Because you just had to stop for ice cream. Then you get in there and you order like you never heard of food before. Oh, coffee fudge swirl with Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, I wonder what's in that. You just listed off all the ingredients. Everything you just said is what's in that. Stewie, I think you're overthinking this. No, no, you're right, you're right, Brian. I'm with Rupert now. I just need to forget Oscar, no matter how intense our relationship was. That's amazing. It's like you took all the colors that exist and said, F here's a new one. Well, good. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Yay! <sighs> this is more painful than sitting through those parent-teacher cheetah meetings. So, in short, your kids are all doing great. Keep reading to them every night, and I think we're going to have a great year. So unless there are any questions, thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah, I noticed the hot lunch menu doesn't feature any gazelle. Ah.
I'll bring that up to the board. Yeah, see, I, I, I heard that last year, and <laughs> here we are again. Stewie, relax. You're getting all worked up over nothing. Says the guy who freaks out every time a fire engine goes by. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Peter, Peter, you hear that? <laughs> I'm matching the sound. <laughs> Is what I'm doing helping? <laughs> <laughs> Meg, are you okay? You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's going to kill me. I can already picture my funeral. Thanks, didn't want to pay for the hole. Mm. Well, I'm awake now, Brian, and I know what I gotta do. Well, before you do anything, for God's sake, put some clothes on. Brian, calm down. In some countries, this is a compliment. Mmm. Mmm! Oh my goodness! Mmm! Oh, please, come on, it's just something I threw together. Mm. Mm. Look, I miss Brian more than any of you, but at least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now, PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes, the moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. How do you even sleep with a fork? Like, you have to wear like three condoms and then just... Miracle on 134th Street. Oh my God, I left my phone in my car. Wow, it's still there. I haven't been this grateful since I met the sane hatter. Excuse me, how do I get back through the looking glass? Oh, yeah. Take two lefts, and it's the first door on your right. Cool. Great. Thanks for not giving me the runaround. I, I asked that guy over there, but he just told me a bunch of rhyming nonsense. Oh, yeah. He's like a well-known dick. Oh, my God. Ten losses in a row? This whole season's been one long bad dream. Yeah, like that one where I walk into the bank and I ain't got no clothes on. Sir, what are you doing? You have no clothes on. Ah, must be having one of those dreams again. Better wake myself up. Oh, thank God. Well, time to apply for this small business loan. I'm sorry I dragged you around the world looking for God. I guess it was a huge waste of time. Like bringing a married guy to Vegas. So I'm thinking steakhouse. Do they have salad? I can't eat red meat. Yeah, then we hit the tables. I'm already down 30 bucks. Maybe the sports book? Is that near Caesars? I gotta get Brandy a Celine Dion t-shirt. And then the strip club. Guys, we have a 7 a.m. tea time. And are we just gonna bail on the Hoover Dam? Peter, come on, are you serious? If Joe or I found this, we'd want you right alongside us. Oh well, yeah, we're like peas in a pod. Wait, wait, don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. What? What are you talking about? Just that when you were younger, you were as passionate and full of life as him. Mm, mm, hey, boys! Mm, catch me if you can! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, crap! I didn't realize they had bikes! <laughs> what are they gonna do when they catch me? Yep, I hope they whoop your nasty ass. Gonna hide in order to be wearing the Victoria's Secret bra and booty shorts. Mm, mm, mm. I hear dressed like somebody's slutty prison female. Oh, boy, I got a back of the head punch coming. I just know it. I hope so. We now yep. return to Captain Central America. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? Oh yeah, it's weird. You're like really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. We never go anywhere anymore. We're getting stagnant. What are you talking about? We go places. We took that helicopter tour of Tucson. Wow, I've never seen so many boats not near bodies of water. That park is all concrete. Look, there's a dog tied to our other dog. Oh. I think that guy with long hair is a lawyer. Look at all those students running for their lives. Oh, there's the concrete park again. You know, Quagmire, I feel kind of bad leaving the family like this with Thanksgiving coming up. I mean, if I'm not dead, who's going to carve the turkey? I don't understand! Motherfucker! Even I know you're supposed to baste the turkey before you vacuum clean it. Damn, who's teaching these hoes, man? She's not fat. What? I, I figured the day you came home with a girl, we'd have to back her through the garage. A little further, 
Little further. Little further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. Now, do you prefer Fatty or Miss Boombaletti? Oh, my God, bro. That is the type of fat white woman that even I would not go after. And that sounds racist only until you realize that Cleveland said it first in Family Guy. And we all know that Cleveland can be racist. I probably could, but, but not Cleveland. You know, he already gets enough flack from the show as it is. And that's real. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and a <laughs> Yes, yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be. <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. We now return to 11 angry men and one developmentally disabled man. Okay, the vote is 11 for guilty and one for kitty. Oh. All right, let's keep talking it out. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, kitty. What? Hey, this ain't so hard. Oh, y'all know Heath Ledger going to say, bro. Man, that's how they got Heath Ledger, bro. Don't do not do that. I, I, I yep. got a wicked boner. Oh, boy. Ooh, ooh. Holy crap, Quagmire, you all right? No, I'm not all right. My head's gushing blood. Take your hand away. Oh, boy. All right, hold still, Quagmire. Ah! Oh, my God, a piece of your brain came out. Yeah, well, that can't be good. Well, maybe it's not so bad. I can feed it to my pet zombie. What the fuck? Here you go. Yeah, you're hungry, aren't I don't you? remember this being hey, in Mort, the show. Hey, how's it going? The pharmacy's going under. I can barely pay my bills. I can't even afford the real pharmacy music. That's just me up there. Listen. If this is it, ooh-ah, please let me know. If this ain't love, you better just say so. Don't need a translator for that one. Tell him to come back when he's ready to act like an adult. Well, look, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's something we can do to help you drum up some business. You know, get the word out. Like what? Hey, you just leave that to us. Are they just pressing the button to make the sale sign come up? Is opening and closing the cash register a bunch of times helping business yet? No. Okay, then we'll do other stuff. If I can turn back time, if I they gonna hire the nerd to call her wheelchair. I mean, wheelchair. I think. If I can find a way. Yeah! We all want to turn back time! This is the biggest city innovation I've ever seen! If you want to get more customers in your pharmacy, you're gonna have to do a promotion, like, like buy one, get one free. What? Buy one, get one free. Huh? Buy one. Yeah, I get that. Get one free. Is that like a Spanish word? Hey, check it out. We got a giggity over there on the 32nd floor. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. <laughs> All right. Quagmire, look out! Oh, no! Oh! Jeez, that was a close one. Yeah, but at least nobody got hurt. <laughs> oh! Yeah, come to think of it, they wouldn't even pay for the fetus Lois lost when we went to visit the Museum of Staircases and Spring-Loaded Boxing Gloves. Yeah, you know, they don't seem to pay out on anything. No, yeah, not at all, true. right? I mean, come but on. They don't pay. Dear stuffed show. Okay, so since I haven't laughed, I think this is a perfect video to do a try not to laugh on. It doesn't seem to be horrendously, terrifyingly funny. So hopefully that stays true. It's at Ritz Crackers. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Just as a box of crackers is only as appealing as its least intact sleeve. I am paying for fully formed crackers, not butter crumbles. I don't buy your product with broken quarters. Don't stick me with broken pieces of cracker, you miserable dicks. Regards, Mort Goldman again. I'm just gonna have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision.
So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. And take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah. Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. No. All right, let's get to work. Yeah, I just realized Goldman's with him. Is this insurance scam? Oh my God, we did it! Hey, Peter, what are you going to tell Lois when she asks where you were tonight? Don't worry, I got it all covered. But I still got a bad feeling. He's going to find something, I just know it. Will you relax? We got an ironclad alibi. We were all seeing the Beatles live at the Ed Sullivan Show. Sorry, I rode a bike here. Joe, they said it was an accident. Roll away. No, I'm just saying as your friend, I wouldn't feel right unless I left no stone unturned. Jeez, Joe, let it go. Yeah, Joe, even RoboCop took a day off once in a while. Nope. Oh. Why did I ever agree to do this? This isn't who I am. I looked in the mirror this morning, and it, it was like I was looking at a man I'd never seen before. Hi. Scott Bakula. Jeez, Quagmire, you need to relax. And I know how to help. Calgon, take him away. This is worse, Peter! Oh. I think I know how to get him off the case once and for all. Hello. Officer Swanson, this is the chief of police. I'm afraid you're fired. I see. Well, that's too bad. I was looking forward to giving you your birthday present next week. Oh. Apparently there was a mistake. Forget I called. Guys, I gotta become chief of police by next week. Okay, I got it. Joe can't investigate if he's distracted, right? Well, what's more distracting than texts about dinner plans? Hmm. These burn ignition patterns aren't consistent with an electrical fire. Would love to. Oh, he's getting annoyed. Look at that. He sure is. Okay, now tell him you want a vegan place. Oh my god, he's so pissed he's calling. Well, answer it. No, no, no. I'm gonna send it to voicemail, then call him back, but pocket dial him while I walk a few blocks. Peter? Peter? Hello? I'm getting very little work done! We all just need to confess. What? Now just hold on, Quagmire. If you start yapping to the cop- Never confess to the police. You think they may give you respect and leniency for confessing, when no, they just know for 100% without a doubt that you did it. Congratulations, you go into jail. Ops, we're gonna rot in prison for the next 30 years! Evening, gentlemen. <gasps> Joe! Glad I found you here. I had a question for you guys. You have the right to remain silent, even though you won't. You have the right to infer an insult where none was intended. What's that supposed to mean? You have the right to a lawyer who you are probably related to. This uh -oh. interview is over! What were you doing the night of March 8th? F your mother. Come on, man, that's not cool. Oh, yeah? Maybe this is cool enough for you. It's gonna take a lot more than a fart in my face to make me... Yeah, and there's more where that came from. Where were you? Fight him. The only way to rectify that is to beat him with your nightstick. No homo. You're the night of the fire. I was at the movies. What did you see? No strings attached. How was it? Sucked. Okay, that checks out. Boy, that Ashton Kutcher sure was a cat in that movie, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, totally. Wrong! He had a heart of gold. You're going down. <laughs> you know you guys... <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny to me. Man, that Aston Kutcher sure was a cad in that movie, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was a real douchebag. Wrong, he had a heart of gold. You're going down. Couldn't have said it better myself. You're gonna do time for this. Message deleted. Was that, was that supposed to mean something? Yeah, I'm letting you guys go. Oh, oh, well that's great. Yeah, I didn't get that either. Yeah, why didn't you just say that? I'm starting to regret erasing that message. Too late, buttface! Have a great summer, Joe! Well, did you guys learn your lesson about eating uncooked antelope? <laughs> hey, baby, how'd you like to go black and then have to make a difficult decision regarding whether or not to go back? Sorry, I went burnt sienna and never went back. Ready, baby? Who's this clown? Good morning, Chris. Oh my god, look at the size of that pimple. You're like a circus freak. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're just becoming a man, sweetie. Yeah, I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. The Bachelorette comes to Quahog in search of male contestants. Story at 11.
Well, actually, that was pretty much it. Oh, but there'll be other stuff, too. Look, I'm turning down the thermostat. See Diane's erect nipples at 11. You're a good pimple, dog. Feed me! <gasps> you can talk? That's right, and we're gonna raise some hell. All right, raise some hell! Yeah! No. <laughs> I could use a vacation. Oh, yes, because you've got such a heavy workload around here. Hmm. How you, uh, how you coming on that novel you're working on? Huh? Got a big, uh, big stack of papers there? Quagmire? Oh, huh, hey, Brian. How did you get on the show? Uh, I had to do a few favors. Oh, I gotta get on that show. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now light it, ring the doorbell, and run like hell! Oh, I don't know about this, Doug. Just do it! Oh, good lord! Is that... Duty! I'm doing the dishes, Joe. I'll change you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was very pleased and surprised. I, I really was not expecting an open bar. Top shelf booze, I tell you. And this guy knew his stuff. Made me a mojito. I don't think it's a gay drink. Mojito. Hey, guys. Well, it's been great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you while we're here. Dude, put your pants on! Shut up! I, uh, I, I gotta tell you, I don't know what she would possibly see in Count Chocula. Uh, I, I think he's just here because he's a... <laughs> Dude, put your pants on! Shut up! <laughs> yeah, that got me. That's two. A minority. Oh, I'm having a really great time. Me too. I really value our friendship. You're not like those other snorks who only want one thing. Oh, that was clumsy. <laughs> Hang on a second. She did that on purpose. <laughs> ah, this is never gonna work. Damn cow. Cleveland, what am I doing wrong? You gotta get her running before you start running. Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's going to use the money to get a mammogram. I am in no mood! Sorry, right, we're short on horses. <sighs> you know what? Forget it. I'll just go smoke. Hey there, Adam. Hello, Henry. I have the power! Uh, Brooke, what do you say we get you some more champagne? Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> forgot about you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess the <your> date's over. <laughs> Good night, Brooke. Thanks for a lovely evening. <sighs> oh, my God. It looks like there's been a break-in. Uh, do you think so? Okay, Daryl, it's almost dry. Very nice, by the way. This one's going on the shelf right next to Dan Fogelberg. Hey, Lois, am I up next? Just wait in your dressing room. I'll come back for you, Oats. I'm not coming back for Oats. Yeah, you know, I mean, I know I was skeptical at first, but I, I gotta be honest, I've never felt this way about anyone before. I mean, I'm in love. That's it. Gay! I'm in love. I finally understand those songs on the radio. What did you think I would do at this moment when you're standing before me with tears in your eyes? Brian! Welcome home, you son of a bitch! So did you lose? Oh, you gotta tell me all about it. Hey, how was a bachelorette? Was she a dumb bimbo, like you said? But, 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 with a big rack? Ha ha ha! Come on in and tell me everything. I bet your stories will make me laugh so hard I shoot milk out of my nose. Uh, Peter, this is Brooke, the bachelorette. She's, uh, having dinner with us tonight. I went over this with you a few minutes ago. <laughs> That's really how you call him out on that, too. No, this guy's just a complete idiot. Look at him try.
Who sold you the drugs? I can't believe this! I can't believe this! I can't believe this! I can't believe this! Disgusting! God, those masses been there! I'm sorry! 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 i am sorry i am sorry i Mittens, shut up! Mittens, shut up! Don't you talk to Mittens that way! Mittens is a member of this family! Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. Listen, Brian, I want you to leave me alone, or I am- Yeah, I lost. I lied three times. Shit! I'm calling the cops. Brooke, I'm so in love with you. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Jeez, oh. bitch! Really? <laughs> I get it, women don't like thirsty dudes, but shit, man. Okay, Joe, right foot green. All right, let's do it! Yes, I am the king! For whistling at a white woman, go directly to jail. Oh, man, does anyone ever win at this game? Ah. Okay, everybody, time for paintball. Ooh, I forgot to pick up the paintball guns. Well, we could use these. I brought them from the office. All right, one, two, three, go! Oh, damn it, Peter, that hurt! Relax, Quagmire. You're doing better than Peter Weller from the opening scene of Robocop. Oh, man, I hate Trivial Pursuit. Always makes me feel so stupid. More stupid than that time you locked your keys out of the car? Damn it. Hey, 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 somebody! Hey, hey, sir, 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 you see those keys there, sir? sir oh, oh, screw you! Is it bad that I've done that before? I've literally locked myself inside of one of my cars. You guys are literally the first person I've ever told that to. That's how embarrassed I was about it. <laughs> All right, Brian, this one's for you. What naturally occurring element has the highest melting point of all metals? Uh, cadmium? Sorry, tungsten. <laughs> Dumbass. My turn. What do you got? Okay, here we go. What color is a fire truck? Ah, oh, God, I always get these. Um, okay, uh, all right, fire truck. Fire truck, fire truck, fire truck, fire truck. What color are those red fire trucks? Okay, Brian, name the 16th century ecumenical body that marked a major turning point for Christianity in Europe. Uh, I think that was the Council of Trent. <laughs> you, you could not be more wrong. <laughs> the answer is Phyllis Diller. Okay, Peter, this is for the win. Say the word, what? Ah. Uh... Wow. Okay. Um, this uh, really separates the men from the boys. A hanker for a hunker, a slammer slice a junker. A hanker for a hunker, jeez. When you get up and go, has got up and went. Howdy, partner. Uh, yeah, pardon me, sir. I live next door. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. I, I am very tired. Look, a wagon wheel. What the hell is your problem? I just smoked a whole bunch of crack. Ah. Uh... Peter, just say what? Yeah, 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 Lois, Lois, this is not a race. Um, okay, I want to say who. Uh, boy, uh, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, uh, steak, 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 a uh, small amount of peas. Um, is it what? Wow, imagine what a genius like me could do with all that money. All right, Cloris Leachman, I've bought you legally. Now juggle these bean bags. I don't know how to juggle. God help you, Cloris, juggle the bean bags. You better juggle these bean bags, bitch. That's what the shit is here. A dog says. <laughs> a cow says. <laughs> ah, of course, of course. Uh, Peter, according to this, you're not a genius. In fact. You're mentally retarded. Oh, yeah? Well, would a mentally retarded guy have hired a bulldozer with a drunk driver to level half of his house in celebration of his fantastic test results? Uh, maybe. Uh-oh. Congratulations! You are just over the line of mental retardation. Don't you mean just under the line? The day I'm corrected by a retard... 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just please trust the analysis. Uh, hello, Sally? Hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin. Yeah, it's right, senior prom. Yeah, no, it's... That's number four. Oh, shit. Been a while, yeah. So, uh, listen, um, I just found out I'm retarded, and, um, I'm just calling to let you know, uh, you might want to get yourself tested. Hello? <laughs> I can never go back to school again. Oh, yes, Meg, yes, yes, yes. Everything was going swimmingly for you until this. Yes, yes, this is the thing that will ruin... That's number five. ...your reputation. Not your years of grotesque appearance or awkward social graces or that Felix Ungerish way you clear your sinuses. No, 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 it's this. Do you hear yourself talk? I might kill you tonight. What is that? Oh, my God, what are they doing? Why, why, why are they trying to publicly humiliate me like this? I mean, what, what's the purpose? Oh, shiny red ball. Peter, watch out! How, how do you deal with it? Deal with what? You, you know, with, with being retarded. Peter, I'm not retarded. I'm handicapped. Oh, well, now you're just splitting hairs. Peter, relax. It's for liability reasons. Now, let's just try to enjoy our meal. I kind of get the helmet, but what's with the water wings? Well, you did order the soup. Oh, like something could happen. You... <laughs> ah, ah, get me out! Get me out! Get me out! <laughs> These water wings didn't help at all! Oh! A parking ticket! I was gone five minutes! Oh! How could this day get any worse? Oh. My. God. Sorry, retarded. Oh, that's okay then. Don't know any better. Oh, bless your heart. Jeez, didn't you hear me a second ago? I'm retarded. Oh, you're just curious. Well, let me show you how everything works down there. And we've got action. Yeah. All right, you're going to love this. So, oh, hang on a sec. Okay, so these two black guys walk into a bar, and the bartender looks- Hey, what are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, I, I was just telling a joke. Um, so, uh, the bartender looks around and says, uh, what'll you two fine gentlemen have? And, uh, they paid their tab and, and couldn't have been more courteous. Rocky, I don't even know what you look like. Can I touch your face? Of course, Diana. And then that's when you pull out your balls. Oh, yeah, you can touch my face. Here we go. All right, now. Be gentle. I just had these mugs waxed. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. What is this? What, what is all this? Am, am I touching the outside of a house? Oh, God. You're a monster. I'm beautiful on the inside. Yeah, but Rocky, there's a limit. <laughs> oh. oh, what is this now? Does your face have a pelvis? Oh, that's awesome. Damn it, you guys are boring the crap out of me. Stupid, mindless chatter is what it is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go back to my place and rent a dirty movie. This is ridiculous. What? That was weird. Oh well. Hey, let's compare breasts. I just heard the dog got fired. Did I miss it? Did he cry yet? Oh, come on, dog, cry for me. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, cry for Stewie. Life isn't what you thought it would be. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. There it is, boys. The fountain of youth. Just like I told you. You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip. I want a piece of that. You suck! In that situation, even though Peter might not smash, he gets far closer than the guy that told her he was she was beautiful. He ain't gonna pipe, but he was closer. Oh 
Oh no, Rupert, we're out of gas. We better ask directions at that creepy and possibly haunted house. Ah! A ghost! Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We got away just in time. We got away just in time. Do I hear 135, 140? Do I hear 140? B135 going once. Hello, MTV. Um, I think I would be perfect for the real world uh, because I speak my mind and uh, not everyone likes that. Uh, but I'm not afraid to go there. And uh, I can be sexy. <laughs> look, here. Turn around. look at my fanny, look at my fanny, look at my fanny. Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart. Yeah! Oh, you're awake. Hey, yeah, uh, can you hear me the pretzels? Look out behind you, lady. It's the blob! I'll save you! What the are you firing me? And don't think about coming back and shooting up the place because security has your picture. Dad, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, what's that? Who's there? Is there somebody at the door? Somebody at the door? Huh? Somebody at the door? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? 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 I'm not a dog, you fat bastard! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about. <laughs> Silly Wabbit, Twix are for kids. You shall. <laughs> oh, what? Ooh. We now return to. Okay, okay, ready? Here goes. I'm a female. I have a high voice. I have reproductive organs inside of me. And I buy groceries. I don't know, man. We didn't get the shots we need. Man, what do you think, Mike? I mean, if you saw action going on in front of you, would you know instinctively to center it in front of you? I don't know. Could someone take my soda out of the icebox, please, so it doesn't freeze? Wilkins, Hyundai, and Subaru. We have Hyundais and Subarus. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It too is called condensation. Condensation. Hey! 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 What? Hello? Hey, Lois, what's up? Milk? Yeah, I'll pick some up at the end of my shift. Oh, gotta go. First fare of the night. I should really pick up that milk now before I forget. You son of a bitch! Oh my god, speed up, speed up, speed up! Oh, there you are, you hocus son bitch! Come back here! <laughs> I've never seen that part before. Oh, there you are, you hokey son bitch! You come back here! <laughs> Go down, go, go, don't let him see us. <laughs> there you go, you hokey son of a bitch. You come back in. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, Lois, look how short Stewie is. <laughs> He's so short. <laughs> oh my god, he is short. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, I grew up poor as shit. And even I never did no shit like that, bruh. I never got there, bruh. Nope. Hey! Hey! Shh! <laughs> 
He takes the beam. The spectators hold their breath. As Stewie Griffin is America's last hope to take home the gold. Oh, oh, did you see that, Mitch? I sure did, Kathy. That was impressive. And as we watch Griffin doing this, I want to remind everyone that this is absolutely not gay. This is going to be awesome. You said it. Am I, you guys feel anything yet? I feel kind of funny. I got a bellyache. We shouldn't have did this, man. Yeah, what's next? A workout followed by a romp around a crowded room while the music goes... <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. <laughs> and the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. <laughs> I just bought a Rottweiler. And I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what... Ah, uh, yes, here it is one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Well, isn't this a fine song and dance? What are you getting so hot about? Keep your shirt on. Where do you get off making remarks like that? Supposing I say you're a lunkhead. Well, I ain't much for supposing. Well, supposing you were. Well, maybe I'm through supposing and I'm fixed to start figuring. Ah, uh, horseradish. Well, aren't you a pocket full of firecrackers? Oh, yeah? You got something to say about it? I'll say plenty. Hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm gonna be kicking my dad's ass all day today. What the hell? Do it! No, no, stop! Ah! Ah! Knock it up! Knock it up! Ah! Ah! Come on! Come on, Stewie! You're acting crazy out there, man! to jump all those trash cans. Uh-huh. Hi, Dad. Go to your room. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back and take a bath. Yeah, how about you go back and take a bath? Would you like a carrot? Good girl. Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on it. <laughs> Did you know for every five farts, one of them is not a fart. So by the process of numbers and elimination, six of those dudes just shit on themselves. And that's real. He went into James Woods. Let's spread out and find him. We'll head him off at the... Todd, man, you gotta chew your food. I want to have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. That's my shit, bro. It sounds like a young child support classic. For whistling at a white woman, go directly to jail. Aw, oh, man, does anyone ever win at this game? You don't win. You just do a little better each time. <laughs> We're gonna edit that out. I look forward to reading it. A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um, no Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, just me, Stewie. Just, uh, being myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well this here? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just, uh, my package. God. Never do that, yo. Doesn't work. Trust me, I've tried. I delivered it. I signed for it. World keeps on spinning. Chris, where have you been? I don't know. Coming up, a man with a gun and two bullets has taken over the city of Manchester. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's badly clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know. Our top story tonight, Her Majesty the Queen will be passing through our very town tomorrow. We now go live to Indian reporter Trisha Dasgupta. 
oh my golly, there is much commotion. Thank you, Trisha. After the interval, find out which 12 football teams tied tonight. Hey, watch it, that. Good show, old chap. Well played. Oh, no, here come the coppers. <laughs> I wish everyone was Robin Williams! Ah! Ah! Boy, that looks enticing. <laughs> Brian, this is a disaster! I turned everyone into Robin Williams! You gotta help me! Yo, 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 Peter G, what's happening, dog? Huh. Oh, sideways hat, Robin. Dear God, no! Damn these hands! Mwah! Well, I haven't been to Temple in a while. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, the doors. <laughs> Stop riffing! Like a chicka bow wow. Oh, oh. Peter, can you pass the coffee? Sure, Brian the dog. Anything for my family. Okay, the first rule of Jewish Fight Club is if somebody says ow, you stop. Ow! Okay, let's see. You know, Meg, I'd love to see you without your hat on. Okay. What's your name? Derek. What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. Oh my god, that is real. No, total fake. That's oh, totally a real. That's totally fake. Totally 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 look at the way it was. Why would totally 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 somebody fake. make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? Hey, Lois, I'm starving. What's for dinner? I made meatloaf. It's in the fridge. Hey, Peter, do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. Look at them in there refilling the mayonnaise jars and shit. With that guy, it's always exactly what it looks like. Mr. Peter Schmidt, we pumped your daughter's stomach and we found vodka, brohypnol, a fair amount of DNA that is not her own, and a class ring. Harvard? Did you have sex with my daughter? Peter, trust me, it's not happening. <sighs> All right, good. Yeah, she's really making me work for it. Maybe you could talk to her. Well, I'll try. I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. Oh my god, don't drink the water! I'm so gonna brush my teeth with tequila. Mexico! That cute guy's been staring at you all night! Oh my god, I'm gonna go poo now so I don't have to later! Mexico! Hey, is this beach topless? No, but my margarita's bottomless. Mexico! You know war games? Yeah. Still finding out new stuff about you. That's the adventure. There's a nerd in there. Maybe there is. I might bang her later. How about a nice game of chess? I prefer banging. Oh, come on, you're our best friend, Peter. Besides, I can remember a time when you saved all our butts. Mm -mm. What? Mm -mm. Yeah! Yeah, too bad I didn't get there till after the shot of me. Hey, I'm your ah! man. But I gotta warn you, I've made some enemies on the hill. And that's when Clarence... I can already tell this one's gonna be a problem. Clarence Thomas forced me into his chambers and showed me lewd pictures. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, we have indisputable evidence that not only have you never been in the same room as Clarence Thomas, you, you've never been in the same state. How do you respond to that? Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey! Oh, yeah. Makes perfect sense, Lois. You know how much time I've spent on the ocean. Well said! What are we gonna do now? Well said! Well said! My name is Voight. Dumbass. Because if I blow this, I'm gonna have to go back to my old job at the electric company. Duh. At. Dot. Buh. Et. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Puh. It. Pit. Pit. Uh, come on, pal. It's my first day. Uh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. It <laughs> <laughs> ah. was more boring than when I was a security guard for George Harrison. Charles in charge of our days and our nights. Charles in charge of our wrongs and our rights. And I say, I want Charles in charge. Hey, 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 hey! Quiet down up there, you wacky beetle. Have the quick stretch first. Ooh, damn. Must have pulled something playing hoops last week. 
knew you're not putting that rock up from here. You ain't got no J. Yo, man, that's tripping. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Sheesh. Bringing that trash in here. This is my house. You know, he's the spokesman for his entire industry. Oh, my God. Though I must say, I've always dreamed of a life at sea. I'm the greatest captain of the Queen's Navy. And your record will stand as proof. Be it galley or freighter, I'm an expert navigator. And you're also a world-class poof. My manner quite defeat is mistaken on the street for a sailor who can pirouette on cue. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. <laughs> The food tastes real good. I wasn't laughing. The food just tastes good. Oh, as brothers and sisters fighting is as natural as a white man's dialogue in a Spike Lee movie. What's up? Can I get two slices of pepperoni? <laughs> <laughs> it's the most wonderful thing that could happen to this family. Hmm. Now the Phillies one. Oh man, they got these little plastic dish guns. I haven't seen one of these since Cleveland's wedding. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of these two young people <laughs> in the bonds of holy matrimony <laughs> consecrated before God Almighty. <laughs> oh boy, do we have some good times. Here it comes, buddy! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Oh! What are the odds? Ah! Hey, look at this, Lois. It's our pet rook. Ah, I remember the first day we brought it home. See that? Huh? Huh? Bad rook. Bad. We do that outside. Look at him. He knows what he did. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time you've disrupted a performance. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I didn't see it. It jumped right out in front of my car. Oh, I am so sorry. What? What? Wow, that's some nose you got. Yeah, one time it almost got me a spokesman deal. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I no, that, that that was good. I I just I, I didn't think you were gonna go so cartoony with it. Well, how 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 would you read it? Oh, I I don't know. I was thinking of doing it, you know, good like like an actor. But you know, your your way is good too. Talk to me sometime, sweetheart. I know what it takes to be cool. That him trying to say he's like a sex addict or something? I'm missing the terminology in this. Rocket Man! Burning out his fuse out here! Alone! Alone, right up the back of her. Yep. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rock it man Rocket man Burning out his fuse out here Hello Oh, yeah that's the good stuff. Because a black knight is just a big jerk. Just like that guy who fixed our vacuum. There you go. All fixed. <laughs> Turns out a half-eaten meatball was clogging up the intake. Oh. Well, did you save it? Uh, no. You bastard. I dare say I should embrace the idea of having a little brother. After all, it's obvious we'd make quite a full... Nothing bad ever happens when you're asleep. In fact, sometimes good things can happen. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Oh, yeah, Jenny, don't stop. Oh, Richard, Jenny, your HBO comedy specials have brought pleasure to millions. And what a sweet ass. Pathetic ah! my life is. I've, I've seen that behind the music with Leif Garrett 18 times. Hey, uh, hey, Leif. Uh, it's been a while. Too long, man. I'm so sorry about everything, man. I I'm so... Ready for a bombshell? 
You saved my life that night. But, but I was driving. I, I was on a road to destruction, man. The accident may have crippled me, but I'm alive, aren't I? Can, can we turn off the cameras, dude? I'm really cutting loose, just like Julie Andrews in that movie where she showed her breasts. Oh, Mary, you'll never leave us, will you? Yes, those are lovely, but it doesn't quite answer our question. What? Yeah, the new owners gave everyone raises. Even Kenneth, the badass mail clerk with the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? No, and if you come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, okay. Man, what a... I've dealt with one of those before. Oh, it sucked. The guy pulled a knife on me on the strip. It was like seven years ago. Long story. Come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, okay. Man, what a badass. Yeah? Well, that badass just gave half his paycheck to orphans. Orphans with diseases. Peter, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I have a cousin who works at Club Med. Me mind on fire. Me soul on fire. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Nigel's charming. All British men are. Yeah, right. That's what they said about Benjamin Disraeli. You don't even know who I am. Whoa, how'd you get that? I spent the night with Mr. Burler. Oh, the sun's up. I'm safe for another night. Thanks, Meg. I, I missed the good old days when you were my sidekick. Uh, so she hated my tie until I told her it was made out of 100% Buttafuoco fiber. Hey, uh, Brian, how about a little tie music? Peter's tie, Peter's tie, that's because Peter's the guy. All right, that's it, no time either. <laughs> yeah. So, Peter, where should we go for your week off? Well, I, I was thinking we could all go to purgatory like we did last year. This isn't bad. It's not that good, but yeah, it's not that bad. It's so-so. Yeah, more or less. I just hope it goes okay. We've had some bad luck with dinner guests. You remember when Margot Kidder was here? Oh, we loved you in the Superman movies. You were just wonderful. Well, there it is. I've never been defeated. Except once. seen you since high school. <laughs> God, what, what are you doing these days? Uh, I'm the red guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm, I'm the green guy. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got it. Hey, is that Stacy Beecham? Where? I say, look at me. I feel like a regular grease monkey. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Oh, then, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? I certainly am not overreacting. What the devil do you think happened to Bobby when they added Cousin Oliver to the Brady Bunch? Oliver, did you break this vase? No, the floor did. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hey, everybody, I... Bobby, you get back in the garage. No. No foul! Oh, that's a stupid call. And I know something about stupid calls. Uh, hello? Uh, Lois, I can't take out the garbage because I'm at the office and, and they're making me stay late. Peter, the caller ID says you're calling from the kitchen. In fact, I can see you. Can you see me now? No. Okay, now I'm at the office. I can't believe your father organized this. Usually he can't even handle simple tasks. Peter? Why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lois, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! This is great. We haven't done anything together like this since we saw Mike Tyson get beat. All right, Mike. The word again is onomatopoeia. Uh, C. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, dang. Hey, since I became president, profits have been higher than Alyssa Milano. <laughs> What kind of cheap shot, Joel? I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm on it, I'm on it. Exactly what we need. Hey, wait a second. Didn't we just make a fat, stupid guy president? You bet we did. Gentlemen, our new tobacco lobbyist is that guy. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, that
bad guy. Chestnuts, rainbows, springtime. Is that guy? He's tinsel on a tree. He's everything that every guy should be. Say what? Geez, I haven't been to California since I lived with my other family. Guys, I just got invited to a party at Sharon Tate's house. And you guys can come, but you gotta promise not to embarrass me. Peter, I am not a sideshow attraction. At least not anymore. Me like it bouncy! Me like it bouncy! I was totally humiliated in school today. Okay, we're gonna do a little informal survey here, kids. Would those of you who are going away for spring break please move to the left of the room? Oigan, quienes que van a spring break, pasen la izquierda, por favor. Wow, the business world sure is funny. Hey, Dilbert, what do you call it when a guy in middle management moves all the way to upper management? I don't know. What do you call it? A promotion. Oh, thanks. Here's a memo. Well, sometimes the business world's funny. Talking about, I'm better than him at everything. You name it, sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. Bastards turned a whole generation of Americans into smokers with their damn subliminal advertising. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Ma. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? I hope he doesn't wait and get your gift at the last minute again. My goodness, a human thumb. Why did you ever find this? It was on eBay. <laughs> oh, God, call an ambulance. Don't you worry, Lois. I'll set him straight. Just like I did with Chris. Dad, what's the blowhole for? I'll tell you what it's not for, son. And when I do, you'll understand why I can never go back to SeaWorld. Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than last year when we all went to SeaWorld. <laughs> and how long has this been going on? Oh, wow. Imagine me, president. How'd you get these blueprints? Oh, your mother has her ways. She has her ways. Can I have the blueprints to the D'Amico house? Sure, here you go. Oh, yes, I've often fantasized about what this house would be like with more culture. The port is quite good. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. What year is it? 51. Ah. Delectable. Indeed. Yes. Oh, dear. What is it? I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. I've grown tired of living. Ah, oh, very good then. For the best. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it raining again? I've never gotten that kind of respect before. Great workout, Bobby. Up your sack breath. That's Mr. Griffin. Come on, Lois. When have I not been there for you? Get out of the damn car! Now! Screaming you're dead. Thanks for the ride, lady. Ah! Yeah, this is going to be even more exciting than when ah! Brian taught me about Christopher Columbus. Ah! Where are we going, Brian? Ah! Well, Peter, we're going to... Ah! 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 Yeah. To visit the year 1492. That's when Columbus set sail on his famous voyage to the New World. Hey, we're on a ship! That's right, Peter. This is the Santa Maria, one of three ships Columbus took to find a direct route to India. Any sign of India yet, fellas? Nothing yet, Captain! India? But I thought Columbus was going to America. On the contrary, Peter, Columbus discovered America entirely by mistake. Wow! Do you remember an incident at a South Attleboro Denny's in December of 1996? Uh, yeah, I guess. Everybody's wanted to do this to a screaming child before. Ah! 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 Shut up! 
So I can drink beer and watch TV? Because, you know, Kiss Safe Santa's on. But Mrs. Claus, who would kidnap Santa? Well, Ace, that's what I want you boys to find out. Someone stole Santa? That does not rock! Easy, Gene. Guys, let's go save Christmas to the Kiss Copter! Yeah! Ah, uh, sweet. It's Kiss Safe Santa. Hang on, Santa. We're coming. Hurry, boys. The eggs are hatching. What do we do? Wait a second. Everyone knows pterodactyls can't stand the screech of a guitar. It's working. Hey, Santa, be careful. Oh, no. Careful, Hang Santa. Hang on, Santa. My own copy of Kiss Safe Santa. You just practice that guitar, Santa. Next time, we'll let you do a solo. Don't encourage him. Kill <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Griffin, how'd you feel to be a bachelor on the prowl once again? Eh, it's not as great as you might think. I guess I just don't have the same way with women that I used to. <coughs> mm, that was nice. That was nice. I, I had a really great time with you today, beautiful stranger. What's your sign? <coughs> uh, gross. I still think you're neat, though. I think that would be a bad idea. And I know something about bad ideas. I'm, I'm telling you, Juice, she's screwing around behind your back. And, and if I were in your Bruno Malias, I wouldn't stand for it. Another Mai Tai? Thanks. So listen. Jeez, oh, Max, I, I don't know about this. I went to Catholic school. I'm not sure this is allowed. Ah, oh, what the hell? Oh, dear. Sister Mary Joseph, it appears Peter Griffin has entered a synagogue. Lock and load, Brides of Christ! The fuck is the penguin doing there to herd the nunnery females for? What the hell? Brian, tape this for me. Ooh, sorry, the VCR hasn't worked since you tried to tape Monday Night Football. Do you have the express written consent of ABC Sports and the National Football League? Just ABC. Oh boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <laughs> That's it, I'm going to numb. I am not looking forward to what you're going to be like once they do this to you. Mm. I love chocolate. But I can't eat it because then I'll get fat. But it's so good. Well, at first I wanted you to fail, but then I realized you'd be out of the house five days a week, which means I'd be free to throw some of my sexy parties. <laughs> <laughs> Party don't get sexier than that, man. Does not get sexier than that. <laughs> Mr. Pewterschmidt, please, can we still be pals? See, see, look, I made a picture of you and me out of glue and macaroni. Wow, Peter, that means a lot to me because you made it. Really? No, oh, get out of here! Mr. Pewterschmidt, Seabreeze is gone. What? I can't find Brian. Peter, do you know what I'm going to do to you if Brian took off with my Seabreeze? I think I have an idea. <laughs> Tell you, this sucks worse than that time I was on Survivor. How dare you wash your clothes in our drinking water, BB? Now how are we gonna survive in this harsh, unforgiving terrain? All right, Donnie, make sure the wheel goes all the way around. Uh, oh, no! Head hunters. Ah, am I fired? You'll have to excuse Peter. He can be a little tactless sometimes. Yeah, it's like the time he soiled himself at that dinner party. I was so sorry to hear that your father passed away. Yes, it spread through his body so fast, but he's at peace now, and the whole thing... Uh, oh! I, I, I rented those for Peter. He got banned from the video store for taping over their movies. Rosebud. Is it sled? It was his sled from when he was a kid. There, I just saved you two long, boobless hours. The worst job I've ever had. Well, except for one. Uh, excuse me, would you like to taste my smoked meat log? And I just want to say... 
Dang, even I wouldn't trip if I, someone told me that in that context. I'd be like, nah, buddy, I'm, I'm good. Appreciate you for asking, though. Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me. It was... No, no, it, it's okay. I'm used to it. Oh, look. There's the star on the town Christmas tree. We're following it home, just like the three wise men. So, what'd you get him? Gold. Gold? Uh, I thought we agreed on a $5 limit here. Yeah, I just got him a crappy little bottle of myrrh. Hello, frankincense. You always do this. Hey, oh, okay, hey. okay, okay, look. We'll put everything together and put all our names on it. No, no. Yes. So, no. Gee, I mean, yes. Scott no. is the no. same. No, 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 no. Can't back up. Right. Brian, what should I do? I haven't been this confused since the end of No Way Out. How does Kevin Costner keep getting work? It's not as bad as me, man. I thought he was talking about a WWE event, No Way Out from back in the day. Wrestling used to be the shit. And I was on my way to see Maury. He couldn't go to the bathroom by himself anymore. But his indomitable spirit. My glasses! I can't see a thing without my glasses. Why won't you let me get laser surgery? Because I just don't think it's safe. Okay, I just need to make a quick incision here and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just going to make it. Use the force. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy? I've never been happy. I know where I go when I want to relax. Yeah, it was just like that other Jewish musical we saw. A fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say each one of us. Corn! Corn! I guess it might be okay. Sure, Lois. I mean, look at Elroy Jetson. He was a child actor, and he turned out just fine. Do you know who I am? I'm Elroy Jackson. Yeah, yeah, come back when you have some money. Take him home, Bam Bam. Bam Bam Bam. I don't want to go home. Take me to Astro's grave. Besides, we haven't spent any time together since we played Operation. I'm going for the funny bone, Dad. Oh, you touched the sides. Oh, jeez, he's waking up. Quick, let's get him back to the bus station. Yeah, Peter's not exactly the most understanding guy when it comes to you and other men. Like that time at the movies? Uh, I, I, uh, 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 this is, uh, this is terribly awkward, but I, 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 I wanted to tell you something, but I, 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 oh, I seem to be so charmingly befuddled. Ah, oh, that Hugh Grant is so handsome. Oh, is that how it is? Come here, you home-wrecking bastard! Uh, uh, don't do it, Dad, he's bigger than you! And when you went to that concert? Thank you, thank you very much. This next one is for all the ladies out there. And then oh it was God! Last Saturday night. Oh, look at that handsome man! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Ugh, this isn't the first time my wit has gone unappreciated. And in the comedy competition, Stewie Griffin receives three and a half stars. Challenger Sinbad receives four stars. We have a new champion, Sinbad. Stewie, uh, any parting words? Um, you know, I, I got beat, pure and simple. You, you are a very funny man. Men be acting all like zombies at the mall. God, ain't that the truth? Were you followed? Don't worry, I've got a decoy. Hey, Lois. Hubba, hubba. Whoa, Lois, you put on a few, huh? Well, I never. That's all right, honey. I don't think he was the one anyway. Now let's go get Sundays. Yeah, like those two weeks you spent narrating your own life? I walked into the kitchen and sat down at the table. I looked with a grimace at the questionable meal Lois had placed in front of me. Of course, I'd never tell her how disgusted I was with her cooking, but somehow I think she knew. Lois had always been full of energy and life, but lately I had begun to grow more aware of her aging. The bright, exuberant eyes that I had fallen in love with were now beginning to grow dull and listless with the long fatigue of a weary life. <laughs> I awoke several hours later in a daze. Look, you're not one to talk, all right? You remember that time I gave you apple juice and told you it was wine? I think you are a special person. Thanks. 
Now, 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 come on. Now, I'm, I'm being, I'm being serious. I'm gonna be serious here for, for a second. Are, are you go, are you, are you gonna listen to me? Are you gonna listen to me? So, so I can tell you that I respect you. Maybe it is time for me to get a job. Yeah, too bad you always blow it in the interview. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? Yeah, sure. Hey, if there's one thing I'm good at doing, it's cheering people up. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, John Bonet's untimely death is a tragedy, and I will not rest until I find her killer. Or killers. Oh, really? Don't, don't bother. Nothing's going to bring our baby back. No, 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 I insist. I will make it my life's work to find We're out... We're fine, just drop it. Brian, will you watch Dewey for a minute? Sure. And please keep a close eye on him. Remember what happened last time. Stewie, get down before you hurt yourself. Shut up! You're not my mother! Good God, are you all right? Fine, why do you ask? Oh, look how low I've sunk. Taking credit for something a smart Jewish person did. Oh, that's okay, Peter. No, no, no. People have been doing that for too damn long. It is the white devil that has propagated, exacerbated, instigated, instigated, line. It instigated our hatred like a Buick. God, wait, what was I thinking when I agreed to this? It, this is so degrading. It's, I, this is worse than the time I was at the Friars Club and Sun Yi's retainer fell out of my pants. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know, Lois, but I feel lower than a bow-legged caterpillar. <laughs> now here's Roy. It's those sirens. They had us all completely under their spell, like that hypnotist at the airport Hilton. <laughs> and three. Oh, wow. Were, were we just hypnotized? Well, that's incredible. I don't remember a thing. Why do I taste crutch? Look here, you're obviously taking us for saps, but we're not. Now fess up or I'll do to you what I did to John Lennon. John, have you met Yoko? Yoko, John? Well, fine. Refuse my offer. Get booted out of this place and wind up like Linda Evans. Linda Evans, we have a spill in aisle nine. Linda Evans, spill in aisle nine. Your friend's birthday party sounds like fun, Chris. Yeah, but I hope for your sake the cake's better than the last party I went to. Ah! Oh, God! Coconut. Ah! Hey, look, here's a picture of your great-great-granddad, Osias Griffin. He owned one of the first dozen telephones. Hello? Hello, Jonathan? No, what number are you calling? Seven. Well, this is three. Oh, sorry. And his great-grandpa was Thomas Griffin, a great philosopher. Thomas, would you please go look for a job? Why? Thank you, but I can't stay. It's Friday night. I've got to go to Temple. Temple? Oh, like Indiana Jones? Get up already! I don't know why she even bothers. Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Beauty-Schmidt. I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around the corner fudge is made? <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a child, Lois. Because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm going to stand here and be lectured by a pervert. We now return to Touched by an Angel. Now, where exactly did the angel touch you? Here? Oh, come on! Who are you gonna believe? I got a freaking halo! Shh, shh, shh. Huh? Dad, can you help me with my math? Mr. Shackleford says if I don't learn it, I won't be able to function in the real world. Okay, now what you gotta do is go down the road past the old Johnson place, and you're gonna find two roads, one parallel and one perpendicular. Now keep going until you come to a highway that bisects it at a 45-degree angle. Solve for X. Please tell me this doesn't have anything to do with Tony Robbins. Oh, no, I learned my lesson. Could you sign this book, please? Tony Robbins hungry. Yeah, I don't know, Lois. Splitting up didn't work too well for Pac-Man and his wife. Hey, come on, buddy. Forget about her. Yeah, you're too good for her anyway. Yeah, cheer up, man. Hey, hey, you want to eat us? Up. Oh, oh, <laughs> turn him blue. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to get us. He's still he's got it. Gonna he's going to get us. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, he's not budging. Come on, let's go to Cubert's. Why, Lois? 
I'll tell you why. Your, your faux pas last night at the concert was so upsetting, I had to call a university professor to tell me what phrase I should use to describe it. Use faux pas. Thanks, professor. Still no sign of the deaf team, I notice. Hey, you guys are going to be late. Maybe they're not in there. Hi, Peter Griffin. So where do you want to go? We can go anywhere except the disco. They don't let me in there anymore. Ah! Oh, crafty Mexicans and your glass candy. Loser! What did he say? Hello? I said you're a loser. Who is this? A Peter ah! Griffin Christmas. Featuring such standards as... Everybody look at the snow in the yard. And who could forget... I brought these gifts for you. They're up in my bum. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. So just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a soccer horn. I know what it is! Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh... Checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think... I, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I, gotta, I gotta get back. Ah! 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 Okay, here's another riddle. A woman has two children. Now, a homicidal maniac tells her she can only keep one. Which one does she let him kill? That's... that's not a riddle. That's... that's just terrible. Wrong! The ugly one! What's the charge, officer? Driving without my phone number. Ah! Ah! Or maybe I should arrest you for being too beautiful. I got it. That's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks, that's it. Ah, oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's the... Yep, you never listen to women, man. Ever. You know? <laughs> Probably the worst example, but it still holds true nonetheless, man. You hold strong, damn it. 30. Hit me. So, we need five consonants and a vowel. Uh, okay, um, Z, four, Q, another Q, uh, a third Q, and the Batman symbol. Okay, no help there. Um, 15 seconds, if you want to take a shot at it, talk it out. Is it Alex Karras in Webster? I don't ah! believe it. All right, I'm going to work. Somebody's got to put food on this table. Oh, no. If there's four tickets and one of them's gone, that, 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 that leaves... This many. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. They say all peoples must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. From here on out, it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. Uh, this is advanced physics, right? Ah! I have a right to defend myself as a woman! Yep, there it is. <laughs> Feminism working just as intended, baby. <laughs> Ah, no. uh, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I just came from that orientation seminar about college dating. Hi, I'm Kelly McGillis, and I'm here to talk to you about rape. Ladies, look to your left. Now look to your right. Statistics indicate that both of those men will rape you. I'm not going to rape you. I might. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... Son? I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. <sighs> that feels... That feels better. I was hanging out with somebody that did the meth first and for some reason thought I would join in. I just left. <laughs>
<laughs> I politely declined. And then when they kept doing the meth, I was like, you know, this is a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I think I'll just get up out of here. <laughs> you sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm going to take a hike. Self. See, everybody doing it. Uh, it's normal. Oh, God, there is no fucking drummer better than Neil Peart. It ain't easy being cheesy. I remember this one time I tried to sneak into an R-rated movie. Oh, Brian Stewie's birthday is going to suck. The only stuff I could get on such short notice was a cake and that big-ass pinata. I sure hope candy comes out of that. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier y Pepe y Carlos y Lupe y otra Lupe, Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente y los perros de Vincente. Oh, it's one of we ever had trouble communicating. Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. So, Doctor, is Peter healthy? My goodness, you'll be dead within a month. What? what? Oh, Hagar the Horrible, if you keep up that lifestyle of pillaging and giant turkey legs, you'll be dead within a month. Now, on to you. So, what do you think? Pretty healthy, eh? Well, Mr. Griffin, let's take a look at your physical results. Ah! <gasps> There's a spider in here. Now, here we go. Mr. Griffin, you're going to expire in a month. <laughs> this is your driver's license, isn't it? And now, here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Why won't you let me get laser surgery? Because I just don't think it's safe. Okay, I just need to make a quick incision here and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just gonna you make a... Use the force. Okay. Are you happy? I've never been happy. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. <laughs> that little rat looking thing just got ate. Damn, nature, you scary. See, a lot of people don't know this. This was casual geographics back in the day before he started making videos on YouTube and blew up. Much deserved, hilarious dude, very informational, and just a hint of ratchetry that we need in the informational space. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to say this. Kim Bassinger? Ba Basinger? Ba Basinger? Basinger? Oh. But now, on to the cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. You are a cancer, right? You were born in July? Ah, where's the damn pull string? Ah. Ah! <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find down here. Ah! We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if... You... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on, that one doesn't even have an H in it. to solve the puzzle. Go tuck yourself in. You got it. Well, you were close, Dad. Man, I still can't believe we missed the phrase, my hairy aunt. Strangle him with his own intestines and then dump the body in the river. Jinkies, what a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch. <laughs> now on to these test results. My, they're much worse than I thought. Uh -huh. My son got a D minus on his history test. Now, Mr. Griffin, that liver's got to come out. What? It's been in the microwave for three minutes. It'll get dry. Now. Please. Please. We can't take any more shtick. Please just tell us, is Peter healthy? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just really fat. Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> well, I know you're not a Virgo. Ah. 
away from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah! Chris, you're hogging up all the fans. Yeah, well, you're hogging up all the ugly. Hey, birthday dude, you want some ice cream? Yes, but no sprinkles. But every sprinkle I find, I shall kill you. And there was that time you got caught peeping in the ladies' locker room? Okay, move the towel. Move the towel. Oh, 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 they spotted me. Look, all I'm saying is put an Israeli guy next to an Arab guy, and I can't tell a difference. I like the sauce. Hey, barkeep, whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? Hey, if I'm fat, then Stewie's fat, too, because we wear the same size onesie. Peter's got the fattest vagina for someone who should never be having a vagina. And that's just real. Oh, here are the marsupials. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Look at me, Lois. I'm Rue. <laughs> Come on, Ma. Let's go watch Pooh trick the bees out of their honey by pretending he's a rain cloud. Good morning, Mrs. Griffin. Hello, hello, ah! hello, hello. Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. And his great-grandpa ah! was Thomas Griffin. This nigga yelled into the pussy. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> a great philosopher. Thomas, would you please go look for a job? Why? All right, I uh, couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's the Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Hey, muscly arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. I know all about the FC. An honor roll, student. Watch. Hey. He did it. Gotcha. Ah! You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? <laughs> ah! no! And Joe. I've had new neighbors before, but none of them were half the man you are. And since you're half a man already, that splits them into some kind of fraction I can't even measure. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. What we need is a picture for the front page. Well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful, like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. A vasectomy's a medical procedure. One that makes you half a man. You're half a man. Remember when you twisted up your garden hose? Well, essentially, that is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Oh, I dropped my watch. Peter, would you be a sport and fetch it for me? Sure thing, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. Yeah! We've got to put that out. Yeah! You never have to wear a knife <laughs> or anyone else you do it with. We promise not to tell. Well, well, what can me and you do together? <laughs> Lois, you've got a sick mind. Peter, I'm talking about making love. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted us to murder the children and harvest their organs for beer money. Can anybody tell me what the square root of the hypotenuse is when... Chris, is that a note? No. Yes, it is. Would you like to read it for the rest of the class? No. Just read it, Lardo. I think Mrs. Griffin's hot. Go to your room. Look ah! at that side boob. Check out this side boob. Good side boob. How about that side boob? I'm not falling that, that turn one. you on? Well, it shouldn't, because that's my side boob. And you couldn't help but notice that the female lawyer running the seminar had a huge rack. 
like ridiculously huge for someone who has to talk about that kind of stuff? Well, I guess that's the definition of the word irony. Goodbye. Say goodbye to manhood. Goodbye. Say goodbye to babies. Goodbye. Say goodbye to kids like me. Vacuum out your sack. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! Here they are, my family. You know, guys, I don't say this often enough, but uh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, it'll be like taking candy from a baby. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. My God, I can walk. It's a miracle. Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. Dad, whore. She's betrayed me worse than Lady Macbeth betrayed Duncan. I, uh, I don't know Shakespeare very well. And have a wonderful time. Oh, my God. Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. Well, it looks like the operation was a success. Do you know what the best part of this is? Try licking yourself. You bastard. Oh, Lois, you are so full of... <coughs> what? Oh, I can't say... <coughs> in my own <coughs> house? <coughs> great, Lois. Just... <coughs> great. You know, you're lucky you're good at... <coughs> my... Or I'd never put up with you. You know what I'm talking about. When you... <coughs> lubed up... <coughs> toothpaste in my... <coughs> and a cherry... <coughs> Episcopalian... <coughs> extension cord... <coughs> wetness... <coughs> with a parking ticket. That is the best. Did you hear that, Lois? We're going to Hollywood! Where the people are sexy and clever and they always say something funny right before the commercial break. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action, That 80 Show. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased-up deaf guy. Go! <laughs> You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Who's gonna feed me and protect me from the evil monkey in my closet? Now, Chris, you know there's no such thing. No. <laughs> Was Michael Jackson really assaulting his penis on stage? Cause I never saw him perform. Was he really beating his meat? Not like that, but sort of maybe a little bit on stage, like. Thank you. American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Peter? Why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lewis, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! <laughs> Spopel! Oh, don't be sad, Peter. That's why they call it Spopel. <laughs> Look at all those hamburgers. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid fella. Oh, jeez! Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, he's so ridiculous. You hear me, you ridiculous man? You're... Whoa! Ah! Hey, Stewie, peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Really, must really be gone. Peekaboo! Ah! How the hell did you do that? 
Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Oh, my God, you gotta pay attention to the road. We could have been killed. I mean, look at the front of our car. It's totaled. It's completely totaled, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... Oh, my God. Yep, just waiting for her to take her pants off. God, I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. I cannot trust you, Peter Griffin. If I remember correctly, this is the physics department. That explains all the gravity. You taped over our wedding video? Relax, Lois. I just taped over the boring stuff. The couple has written their own vows, which they will now recite to each other. Peter, I... Look, the only reason I got myself arrested was to find out what happened to my sister. Excuse me, ladies. It's laundry time. <laughs> Cold in here. I mean, look at my. I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around a corner fudge is made? <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a child, Lois, because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna stand here and be lectured by a pervert. That's a really good argument. I would say use that in real life. This wedding is hot! Wake up, dammit! Wake up! You know what Joe said the street value of that cocaine would have been? Uh, let's see, four and a half kilos uncut Nicaraguan. Uh, 1.7 mil, that area? Uh, yeah. That's... that's... that's right. All right, I'm ready. Come on, good game, good game, everybody, yeah! Come on, good game, let's get out there, let's do it! Yeah, yeah, 110... I don't do that. I don't do that. Percent, everybody. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? Mm? I think we're through here. Yeah! <laughs> Griffin, I said no showboating. This calls for a victory tune. Now, a woman who kiss on a very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who kiss on a second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who wait till a third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his shaboopy. No, we're not. I'd much rather get it done up front. That way, we know if we're truly compatible. You know what I mean? Because if the sex is whack, then there's no point in either one of us wasting each other's time. On your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. And you can always be proud of your father and all of his accomplishments. What accomplishments? Go to your room. Yeah, but I hope ah! for your sake the cake's better than the last party I went to. Ah! Oh, God! Coconut! A griffin never knows when to stop. Clear. Clear. Oh, you, you saved my life, Doctor. Clear. All right, I made a touchdown. Uh, excuse me, it's been brought to my attention that a few bad apples out there are smoking marijuana. Uh, I've got news for you, my friend. Marijuana's illegal, not cool. All right, then. Establishment, establishment. You always know what's best. You suck! Learn the rules! I need some excitement. What are you talking about? Your life is plenty exciting. For example... There you go. Good night. What if I helped you get a girl? Really? You... You, you think you could do that? Sure, all we gotta do is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... Ah! Shave, maybe some cologne, the chicks will be all over you. Go on, buds, drink my suds, till you've reached that pure inebriation, though the beer may be free, you're just renting it. From me. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course it's clear. Every American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? Sir, I need another dollar twenty-five. Is that right? Keep the change. Roadhouse. 
I say, Jenkins, you give me that dirty look one more time and I've a good mind to get into my PJs and have a pillow fight with you. Very well, then. On guard! Are you I like your gown. I like yours. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. <laughs> Look, my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? It's like I died and went to heaven. But, but then they realized that it wasn't my time, and so they sent me back to a brewery. As it turns out, the lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? <laughs> well, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Butterschmidt. <laughs> Sorry, Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> All right. Wait, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. I'm going out for a little while. Hey, wait, wait. You can't tell anyone I'm here. For if humanity discovers I'm no longer lurking in the shadows, the consequences will be dire. Go on. That's it. What the hell do you see in him? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Hi, I'm Al Harrington, president and CEO of Al Harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man emporium and warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you. Lois, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh, 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 God! Oh, Dave! Sorry! Oh, oh, God! <laughs> what? Nice day we're having. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain. So? So he said it's when your brain know it's not really nice day. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, he said the opposite. It's funny. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, nice day. Oh, now you're funny, too. Oh. Well, I really admired the mother character's admission of personal torment after her daughter's death. I, I disagree. I felt a total lack of ethical integrity in her readiness to abandon her children and start a life of her own. Uh, here's another thing. The book can also be a hat. You know that? A lot of instant classics up in that mug. Got the lip sync, a couple of them, like they uh, TikTok. Before I go, make sure to like and or subscribe if you're new. Make sure to comment if you're not. And or even are. This has been your boy Blasphemous HD, Twism.